Cultivated meat is not mock meat or plant-based meat. It is actual meat. The way we produce it using stem cell technology is different, more healthy and sustainable. Hi, I'm Dr. Dheeraj, Head of Research and Development at Umami Bioworks, formerly known as Umami Meats. So I started my journey at Umami Bioworks as a lead scientist and in my current role as a Head of Research and Development, I'm taking care of various divisions of research and also doing the external and internal stakeholder management. I was an academic researcher before that and the purpose of doing PhD and postdoc was to be in research all the time. And I was somebody who was passionate about finding something which is directly applicable to, to humanity. This is where Umami Bioworks comes in. It is about helping the world to solve a bigger problem like food security and climate change. We aim to provide a sustainable solution for seafood production which is healthy and cruelty free. So cultivated meat is produced using cutting edge technology like stem cells. We take out the stem cells from the fish of interest and we culture them into nutritious culture media and then we grow them into fat and muscles. There is some misconceptions about the cultivated meat. For example, a lot of people think that it's a mock meat. Actually, it's not mock meat, it's a real meat. Why we call it cruelty free? Because in the process of making cultivated meat, we are not killing the animal. The way we produce it using stem cell technology is different. It's not from animal, but we are growing the part of animal using stem cell technology, which is being eaten by us, which is more healthy and sustainable. In initial days, there was not a lot of success. When we started developing cell lines, literally there is no information. We have to do a lot of optimization. We have to try a lot of protocols. We started to think, uh, is it even possible to continue on this journey? When you're not getting results, it can be exhaustive and demotivating for you. But as a scientist, we are trained to handle that. We figured out by doing more experiment that we can achieve certain types of cell lines and that kind of give us a lot of confidence to continue with our journey. Singapore is coming up as an innovation hub which gives you access to Southeast Asia. The startup ecosystem has grown massively in the last few years. Singapore is the first country in the world to allow the commercialization of cultivated meat. You know, the chicken nuggets were being sold here and overall the ecosystem, the government, the research environment here is great. So for us, it naturally makes sense to come here and, and kind of build a company. In Singapore, we want to ensure that we are producing our own food because we don't have a lot of luxury for land and other stuff. So we have to rely on this kind of innovative technology to ensure our food security. Being in Singapore Science Park is great for us. We are in a like-minded community and it is inspiring to come into work every day. It allows for our collaborations to form very quickly and we have benefited from this ecosystem. We love being here. I am part of a journey which is solving a bigger problem of food, climate change. At some point in time, I would be able to tell this story that I was at the forefront of fighting the climate change and food security for humanity. Thank you for joining us at Umami Bioworks.